Hi, everybody. Welcome to the reunion. It's been almost how long since you were here, Mandy? Seriously, be honest. About a month. Oh, my God. And what a month it's been. What do you think of the month without Mandy on the podcast, Martin? Um, I missed you. I <laughs> okay. Like come I on. What else can I say? I freaking missed you. Like this has been the worst month of my life, obviously. And you know how much I was complaining, right? Yeah, I'm complaining so hard and so much. Bro. <laughs> we don't need that. Come on. Uh, no, but it's good to have you on back on. And I remember last time you were on, there was some discussion. People thought we were actually not friends. And, yeah. and that like maybe it was, I heard some weird things about how like you were like really angry at Hamza and you wanted him out of the house. And does that still stand? Um, You know, I think we've forgiven each other now. Um, We'll try and keep it appropriate. Civil. This podcast mm-hmm. will be civil with each other. Mm hmm. Um, I like yeah. that because I don't like when you guys fight. Yeah. And I don't it makes you have to, because like you're like the child of divorce. If like we fight, that's what you kind of feel like, right? Divorce. Divorce? I mean, <laughs> well, <laughs> well, <laughs> well I'm like, are, but like you, you, you can't choose. So like, you know what? Yeah. You're, it's you're, like, you don't you're understand. Si- you don't have divorced parents, but yeah, I have like two parents, Christmases kind of yeah, a little bit. It's like, like you have to choose. Okay. Do I go with Hamza, my best friend or my girlfriend, mm-hmm. Mandy? Like you don't like being it's in between. Close. And then uh, you got to say it's close. It is close. And, and okay. If you had to choose right now, don't think about it. who would you choose? Um, M- Mandy, Mandy, Mandy. Sober thoughts. Dang it. Sober <laughs> words. Are Sigmund Freud is right. The Sigmund Sigmund Freud Sigmund Freud. No, Sigmund is such a Sigma name. Like if I had to, if Sigmund I had to pick a Freud. name, if I had to repick my name, it would be one of those olden names like Sigmund. Sigmund. You don't think Martin is an old name? Sigmund. D's. Martin's not an old name. It's one of those ones that you think is old, but then you realize it's being remodernized. What was it originated from? Martalithy. Martalithy. Mm. I don't know, but my you know my original name was supposed to be Luca. Was that it would really? be cooler. Yeah, but would Luca and Hamza hit? No, because I, I would have because so. you if you did Luca, my alternate name, w- my supposed name is supposed to be Omar. <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny? Was it really? Because just imagine an alternate universe. It's Luca and Omar. <laughs> <That's so funny. laughs> Mandy, what was your what was your name supposed to be? It was always going to be Mandy. Really? Wow. No yeah. doubt. Yeah. Well, I have an older sister um, and they they like the name Mandy before and it just didn't suit her. And then they're like, hey, if we have another girl, it's Mandy. <laughs> Wait, yeah. so they looked at your sister and said, Mandy, uh, no. Next yeah. one, oh, yeah. Mandy. Yeah. So they really just swiped away? Yeah. Oh, man. There's nothing, but what do they see in like the, the like, what are they called? Sonars of the baby that made it look like I don't know. I think Mandy. Mandy is such like a, a fat, cute baby name. And I was fat. Like I was pretty big. My sister was like skinny, sickly looking. Mm. Was. Well, she's still alive, but she was like that when she was a baby. She doesn't mm. look like that anymore. She's kind of like grown into... You want to know what, what, what made me dodge that bullet from Omar? My mom, wa- that was the only name she wanted was Omar. But then my grandpa was like, nah. He stepped in and he said, let's do something good and for she, the world. He was like, Hamza. And she was like. He saw the future. He's like, Hamza edits, Hamza mm-hmm. this. Like, we but, need to make But Hamza. then she was like. Omar <laughs> edits? Imagine Omar <laughs> edits. Yeah, that doesn't hit. <laughs> I could see it. <laughs> Omar is when you put on that filter. The one that we put on the filter when we did the story. That's Omar. <laughs> Man, to all the Omars out there, you can get there someday. It's possible. It's just it's not a very... There's actually, like, truth to it that your name picks your destiny. In a yeah, way. it like does. The aesthetics of your name, if you have an unesthetic name, you will be unesthetic. That's why yeah. celebrities pick cool, really yeah. crazy cool names. Mm. And just just in general, controversial ones, because they know that it's going gonna, it's gonna to get them far in life. What's the, what's the craziest baby name out there right now? Chris Apple. Oh, I was going to say there's, didn't Michael Jackson name his kids like Blanket and Spoon or something? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not kidding. Like, it was like Apple, Blanket, or Spoon or something. Wait, something so he's like onto that. something. He's onto something. Bruh. Blanket, Spoon, Podcast. We'll name our, <laughs> whoa, I just looked at you and I said, we'll name our kid Podcast. <laughs> we'll name our kid Podcast. Podcast. Yeah. We have to do M. That's why I'm thinking Monday. I think Mog-cast. we've said that so many times. Podcast. That's terrible. Monday. There's so many other better M names though. But something that's like, okay, that is so something. Weird, no, it has to be something like, to do with what you've done in life. Mark. You it, left a mark. Noob. No, man. If I actually named mine, it would be something ethereal, like a, an incredible name. Bro, you said it. Ethereal. No, that's already out. Maybe two years ago. Ethereal? Eth. For Ethereum. I'll just name my son Ethereum. <laughs> so I'll name my kid Dogecoin. Doge. Um, well, you guys won't have any kids anytime soon, I don't think, because 
Well, just mentally, you're not there. It depends on how fast the channel grows, how fast this whole all, all grows, yeah. because then it's it's a good, uh, like I said, it's a it's good, a good market. investment. Yeah, yeah. marketing content, stunt, and yeah. yeah. So that's what we talked about. It's not no, like we a planned of, everything. Like, we we know age. exactly. Soft launch or hard launch? We're going to soft launch. Um, <laughs> our child, well, the pregnancy first. We're mm-hmm. gonna not do it right away. Ultrasound We're gonna to, like, first. Yeah. Well. That's too that's tag. No- that's on the nose. That's how they normally do it. We're just going to be like slightly like, is there a bump or is there not? You know what I mean? Mm. Where they have to kind of guess. Um, but the whole time it's Martin's stomach. No, <laughs> this is how we're going to do it. We're going to go. What's those maternity stores? <laughs> there. What's a maternity store where they just sell maternity clothing? No and stuff? one knows. We're I gonna, don't know. We're gonna, I'm not shopping I'm going to plant. I'm going to like call paparazzi to try and find you in one of those maternity stores. Mm. Like oh, Mandy was good. spotted there. Oh, is she buying someone some clothes or is it for her? Mm. Or she is just gaining weight and she needs something a little more loose. Yeah, we don't know, that right? Too. On the and that would be a, a scandal of its own. Probably. And then we'll and then we'll send paparazzi to catch you buying maybe like a gift for our baby shower. But they just catch me like in a liquor shop, just like with like <laughs> handfuls. <laughs> Hamza doing Hamza. <laughs> okay, so he's struggling. on a different side quest here. <laughs> I'm just like at the Lego store at, at Yorkdale Mall, like <laughs> just with handfuls of Legos. Like Hamza spotted. Uh, Age regressing. I'm <laughs> <laughs> spotted in line for Kung Fu Panda Four. No, I caught y- I caught your ass. Age regressing. Um, no, I've been age regressing recently. Um, what did I do the other night? What I say to you? You just love uh, the the, you know. Oh, the, the ice, ice cream, cream flavors. flavors. Yeah. You like okay, I think I got Martin into this, but I like really like childish ice cream flavors <laughs> like i get like cotton candy and bubble gum yep if anyone knows what that this might be a canadian thing but that super kid ice cream do you remember that at no Secord, i think that's what it's called and it had like the yellow blue and red and it was so like, all three four, freaking like, dyes it had all three yeah, dyes red in 40 it. it had blue yeah it had everything but it was so good anyway dairy queen has the cotton candy blizzard and Hamza was making fun of martin because he said it was really good well it's just a d- it's not the way to go i mean it tastes like gum like why are you eating milk flavored as gum i'm not eating yeah. for the ice cream i'm eating it for the little bits that are in it the little almost almost like nerds yeah get some nerds you know you gotta have some style little cookie dough action oreo chocolate caramel there those are those are refined for refined taste dude no because in a couple of years that's gonna be the grandma candy yeah. That's going to be like the candies that the grandma pulls out of their pocket. Caramel's kind of like lost their touch. Chocolate. I Honestly, chocolate's going down. Like no one's it buying chocolate. It is going down. People are really focused. Gert Nerds, gummy clusters. Nerd. You guys oh, know those are, those so are the good. biggest candy right out right now. Have I love ever, those. You've never bought them. Yes, yes we buy we them do. all the time, unfortunately. Yeah. You're 29 buying I gummy know. Cl- clusters. Oh. You're 30, right. Turning 30, March 25th. You can't, you can't be... You know, is it for the taste or is it for you long for the time that you tasted it? Mm. Are you telling? Okay, but this sounds mm. like you're just also being rude to me and you're also saying that I can't kind of age regress and go back to my childhood and explore all the things I never got to. I just, you got, you didn't get to explore that? or was No, because my parents never let me eat stuff with dyes in it. And now <laughs> I'm doing it now. <laughs> like a Tide Pod or something? What you like I couldn't eat, like Lucky Charms. I didn't know what that was. I saw, no, I, saw, I knew what it was because I saw my friends have it, but I could never touch it. I couldn't be close to it. You'll That's what okay. happens. Like, it's okay. but you know when they have strict, you have strict parents and it creates like mm. rebellious teens. Like Martin's parents weren't strict, but they were with the food that he, he didn't eat mm. like candies and stuff like that. So now he tw- he's a 30 year old man and he's trying all this like <laughs> chip. <laughs> he's so much confident. I believed <laughs> it for a second. <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. <laughs> Look, there's probably better, there's probably worse issues out there, but this is, you know, don't knock my issues. Like these are something, this is something I have to deal with. It's true, but I, I feel like with super strict, and I had maybe the strictest ever, and there's routes you go. You can't go the rebellious. I just became a muted person. I think mm-hmm. I just, I just became muted. <laughs> I don't know. There's like, you can either choose to, where do you let that loose? Oh, no. sorry. It's just like, it was kind of covering your head. And, was a point. and I think, no, I think it was like shining, like half your head was lit up. Now Is that okay? That's crazy. <laughs> I have an idea. 
I have an idea. Let's age regress together <laughs> and watch Clifford the Big Red Dog and eat cotton candy and yeah. La, 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 la. I think this podcast for a lot of people was age regressing in a way because the because I you know someone f- I think their first look on this podcast or even slushy noobs they'd be like wow this is for kids right and then they kind of realize wait this is like a fun place for people to just enjoy themselves yeah so was Stardew Valley man that was age regressing to the max oh that was for me it was uh, it was I I'm so embarrassed. From this, because I say, that, uh, Rudy, you have something to do here? Well, he's going to go over to his mom. I'm not hey, so embarrassed, but I cried when I married Penny. <gasps> Whoa. Hey, Be nice, guys. Nice. Rudy, that's okay. not nice. Sorry, just let them fight for a second. Okay. So nobody cares about me. Okay. All my so what were you crying about? No, I just, I just decided to open up and it just didn't pan out as it usually does. So I'm going to shut up. I'm never going to say anything again. What is this, like, narcissist, like, like, like versus psychology? Like, like Martin does that a little Dude, bit. listen. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, we won't get into that. Okay, listen. Well, you can get into it. What is it? What do I do, huh? <laughs> Will you just have Spill a- it on the fucking podcast, all right? Yeah, I don't, I don't want to do this ever again. <laughs> no, Martin's not a narcissist. He's just not, like, not, he's so well, childish. I don't mean narcissist. I just mean you I'm have petty. That fun, I'm petty. You're petty. Petty. And petty. You have don't confuse the he's thing. Sassy. I'm petty. And, I, and trust me. petty. And he's like, okay, I'll never talk to you again then. Yeah, that's, yeah. That's yeah. Him. yeah, yep, yep. I'm petty, and that's it. Like, take it as it is. This is me. Okay. You don't like it? Leave and never talk to me again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. No, Stardew Valley was great, and um, you were saying about uh, what you married Penny and you cried. Wait, you cried? No, Mary man, Penny? I never said that. You guys were too busy. You cried? Were- Are you serious? It's a video game. Grow up, dude. Did you, even <laughs> as we just talked about age regressing, did, grow you, up. did you even marry someone? You didn't even get there. I am with her. We're playing Stardew Valley right now. Can mm-hmm. I marry her? No. They don't let you marry. I think you can. I, I don't think they don't. let you marry in multiplayer. Marry each other. Yeah. That'd yeah. be pretty. Because there's storylines that open up. Uh-huh. I think one of the best games ever made. I looked up their big update that they announced. Yeah. The orchestra, bro. What is it? Nothing, man. <laughs> what? It's very tame. It's like. Oh, uh, no new area. Nothing. Mm, not really. They're like adding 100 new lines of dialogue. <laughs> oh. Okay. Look, I don't want to knock it. Like, do people play it for the dialogue? I played it for all the cool, like, little secrets Words and stuff. And features, yeah. yeah. Okay, that's awesome. No, the orchestra was so fun. Mandy, I'm so sad that you can make it, but it was, yeah. to be fair, it was just for me and Hamza. Yeah, you guys need, needed some. Yeah, just a little bit of alone time to enjoy an orchestral piece together. <laughs> um, it was great, and we did, and we took shrooms, and it was. It was, I think it elevated it without a doubt. Mm-hmm. We didn't do so much that we were lost in the sauce because it was a very public situation. Yeah, it definitely elevated my anxiety um, around people in general because part of it is like, whoa, do I look weird in front of everyone? We were like in the front row with the bright lights on us. If I, I didn't like that. I wish we were further in the yeah. back. Yeah, but you know what else, you know, and <laughs> we actually did act weird on it because we walked into the wrong washroom. Oh, that was so... We went into the women's bad. washroom. We literally went... I don't know. Did you tell Mandy? No, you didn't tell me we that. Actually went, walked into we the went into the women's restroom. And of course, in the women's restroom is where we would get recognized. So oh. now we're just like in the women's restroom. Someone's like just talking to us. And Are you serious? We're taking pictures yeah. in the girls' bathroom. Are you serious? Yeah. Why didn't you tell but that's us? And we're on shrooms. But Mandy, shrooms, what you're not realizing. We're on shrooms. Yeah. So we're just like... <gasps> No, of course. We're, we're like not. taking deep breaths and stuff. But what you're not understanding, those were those types of guys that like girls would want to invite us into the washroom and, and and we would all compliment each other and we'd like get ready together and stuff. We're those types of guys. Like we're. I would hide my drink from you. Both of you. You're not those types of guys. She didn't let you escape. She's like, <laughs> both of you. Um, I'm not. I don't want your drink. I also. So you don't have to give it to me. Um, you have a boyfriend to do that. You should trust Martin by now with your drink. If you can't trust him by <laughs> now with your drink, <laughs> then no. that is crazy. If Martin's trying to say he's the type of guy that girls would be like, oh my God. Like They are. No, they, I, they feel I actually, safer I, me. Was, I was just kidding. You guys definitely give, you have feminine energy. And I've been saying this and I say this to everyone, yes, all bro. of my friends. I'm like, Martin has such feminine energy, but like, he's not like girly. I don't know how to explain it. Like just say a, zesty. <laughs> yeah. But no, but like, I can't explain it. You just are so like. You you get you get me you get me as a girl and like 
I just realized how I was sitting too. Were you crossing your legs again? I was like this. I was like, <laughs> all right. <laughs> okay. Tell me more. Tell me more. Um, no, and, it, and we were taking deep breaths because it's hard to manage yourself a little bit on shrooms. Like you're trying to compose yourself. Um, that Uber ride that we took was freaking long, man. Yeah. I kept checking the time. I didn't tell you this, but on the Patreon, Patreon exists and it's just me on every Thursday. I talked about my experience in that Uber ride. I couldn't say anything in the Uber Mm. to you about this because mm. it would be a little bit racist okay did you see the, the clip at all what are you about to say well i was on on it right and we mm-hmm. would keep looking at each other and you you're like you're we we're probably annoying to the driver right like oh, every second you're like yeah i can't breathe or no you didn't say that <laughs> <laughs> you're oh like i God. need to roll down the window i gotta yeah. i gotta lock in i gotta just be quiet thumbs up just for a second yeah and you're just like going through it a little and we're just hyping each other up through like a gram of shrooms yeah. between us. <laughs> all I could, th- and the guy, the driver is this Korean man, very well dressed, super polite. Yeah. All my shrooms mind, of course, was thinking was wearing parasite, like with that scene with the <laughs> driver. That's all. I didn't see parasite, but I saw so many comments, and I was like, "Why are they saying that?" What uh, the p- the parasite thing? Oh, you you saw something. No, I just saw comments on the Patreon. They're like, "Y'all thought you were in parasite." I thought I was in parasite, like f- fully. Well, that's what that does to you. The car was so it's clean. He was driving on the it nine was. and six. He was driving nine and six. Uh, you don't. No see one that does day. that in you Toronto, especially. That. Super polite. He's like, "We're like, can we use a charger?" He's like, "Of course." And everything we said, he was like, "Yes." But yes. I feel like when he turned his head, he was gritting his teeth. Like, yeah. Oh my god, these freaking. You're right, kids. and that's kind of what freaked me out. I was like, I really didn't want to be the person that asked to roll the windows down because mm. I don't even do that. It was in raining. It was raining. But I needed it so bad, <laughs> and you weren't there yet, and you were kind of talking, and I was like. I was like, I really just wanted to be like, yo, you need to stop. On the come up, yeah. But it's like, that's not fair to you because it's like, you're also just trying to enjoy too. So I'm like, yeah, man. Yeah. Just agreeing with everything you say. <laughs> I'm like pointing at signs of restaurants. You cry. I know. And I'm like <laughs> <laughs> laughing like fake laughs. Oh, I know. Mark because was dying on the inside. No, because, yeah, because <laughs> being on, coming up in an Uber is just probably top three worst things. A 40 minute drive. Yeah. Oh, you need cute. to be mobile. Like. It's like on a plane. You need out. We were literally contemplating, oh, maybe he can drop us off earlier. We'd walk. And we're like a two kilometers away. <laughs> and it's raining. What yeah. What about you, Mandy? Have you done shrooms? I think you guys did it together, no? Once? Yeah, we've had a little experience. How w- wait, how yeah. was it for you? You never really like... Which time? The first one? The first ever one for you. The first one? Where my face was melting. Oh, my God. Y- okay, so the difference between me and you is you, when you, you did it and I did it, you were so like... I feel like I've talked about this, but you mm-hmm. were like up here and I was like here mm-hmm. in the sense that like, you were jumping around the house. You were going in our fridge and being like, Mandy, look at this. Look at the color of this mayonnaise bottle. Have you ever appreciated <laughs> how the companies make these designs? Like this is beautiful. <laughs> you started eating trail mix that we bought from Costco Hellman's. three years before. And it was like trail expired. <laughs> you, I don't know what you were on. You're bouncing around the house. And I was like, felt like I was like melting in you the couch. You don't get it. And your face was like, melting it was so weird and we had a persian rug and it was like doing some stuff like it was mm. like oh it was so cool but then we did it another time like months later and it was a small like what is it like a micro dose it wasn't even a macro like i don't know what the f- i don't know what it was yeah i don't but know what it, it was, was so bad because we got that really itchy feeling it felt like there was like bugs under my skin and it we was the one it. foot in one foot out yeah, type it was of vibe really bad and i was having like Oh, panic attacks, like watching Home Alone. I loved Home Alone. That was the best thing you could watch on Shrooms because you realize, and wow, this Home is Alone such a beautiful- one. It was Home Alone 2. Which is arguably better than Home Alone 1, and I don't want to hear it. That's end of the discussion. Like, that's a great movie. I don't think I've seen them. Home Alone 2? with Dude, I cried. I cried because- the woman who just was like friends with all the pigeons and stuff. Oh, and yeah. And sh- everyone thought she was scary homeless woman, but in reality, she was actually really fun. I don't know that- one. Dude, I'm almost tearing up just thinking about it. I literally cried watching it. That's because you were high on psilocybin. That's why. Dude, I, was... I cried even off of it. Doesn't matter. And the trail mix thing, dude, the reason why trail mix was so fascinating was because these are things that come from the earth. Okay, what about the M&Ms that were in there? Damn it. Look, we all have different experiences, mm-hmm. all right? I was I was fascinated by Uber Eats. The fact that you can click two buttons oh, on your yeah, phone and crazy. food shows up at your door reminded me of that one scene from Spy Kids where they freaking pop in that card into the microwave and the burger comes out. Oh. Remember that scene? I haven't seen it. Remember that? that? Okay, we can't bring up like references to him because he's never seen half of You've never seen Spy Kids? No. It's okay. You don't, you know, I'm left out usually from most of what you guys are doing, so you could just 
You need to age regress more. Watch Spy Kids. <laughs> Actually, speaking of freaking age regress, last night I tried to watch Poor Things, dude. Holy cow. Was it good? Awful. Well, Whoa. okay, okay, okay. I'm not, that's a crazy thing to say. I just was not there for it at that time. Um, I was watching Avatar live action. I was like, not right now. I'm okay. To quit that. Then I started watching Poor Things. Dude, it's just too much. Mm, that's his style of movie, though. If you don't know the director, I don't. I don't yeah. know directors. If you man. watch The Lobster, it's kind of also like. It was a lot. It was a lot. It was a lot. It was a lot. And you it have to be in the right me. headspace. It irked me because I was like, man, I want to see an Ox- you know, Oscar winning show. Like, let's just hop in. It's going to be good. I don't want to dive into this world where the. I think the main premise is that she age regress. It's an age regressing. She's like a toddler, but it's Emma Stone. Like she's acting like a touch. She goes, that, 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 that. Benjamin Button type shit. No, like she that? like almost died and they sw- and she was pregnant and they swapped the brain of the baby in her stomach with hers to let her live. So Whoa. she's like a toddler, like relearning stuff. Yeah, oh, I've never I've never concept. seen it, so that sounds insane. Sounds really uh, you bad. just don't like that director because we tried watching The Lobster and oh. Minnie got so mad at me. I don't know The Lobster. Is that the one we watched with your mom? Yeah. Oh my God. That's the okay. same director. We got in the most heated argument about that movie with yeah. Martin's mom because Martin's mom and I wanted to watch a nice rom com. That's what we were feeling. Super simple. Martin pulls up Letterbox, you know, going like mm-hmm. he he's I don't know what he searches when he looks for movies. It has to be like weird, creepy movies that are gonna make you think for the next twenty four hours. That's what he looks up, and we said we wanted rom com. So he gave us two choices: Fantastic Mr. Fox or The Lobster. <laughs> Nothing to do with romance, except he said, the lobster's about romance. Let me speak. And he puts this movie on, and there's so many scenes in it. Like, they kill the dog, and it's very graphic. Like, I hate when they kill animals in movies. It's so sad. And, like, poor Martin's mom, like, doesn't like horror. It's not a horror, but, like, just seeing that really, like, she was, like, almost, like, crying watching this movie. And it was just really bad. This person turns into a lobster in the end. Sorry to ruin it for anyone who wants to watch it, but... I... My number one goal when when you watch a movie with me is I want you to remember it. I want I you to watch a movie it. and say I watched this movie with Martin. It was quite an experience. What no, did we, we watch? We got into a really heated debate after. Like, we I'm did because I bad. said Stores because I were slamming. Like. I listen. I searched up rom com. I genuinely searched up rom com. That popped up. It said dark comedy, but it had romance. It was romance adjacent. It, it had a romance in it, and it was dark comedy. It was like the dog, yes, you saw a dog get killed, oh, but it was like funny. Basically, Hamza, this is what the movie is. Anyone who is single, so mm. you, for example, would be going to this little like resort to find your match. Awesome. And, if, and if you don't find your match within a certain amount of time, you turn into the animal of your choice. And what would you choose? And he chose a lobster? He chose a lobster, yeah. Uh, a cockroach of the sea is what he picked. I would probably pick um, a blue whale. Can okay. you do that? You can pick anything you want. Right. Now, this is a big thing. You want to choose something where you're still amongst humans and stuff. Albacross. Yeah. I don't know if you'd make it far in the movie. But basically, there is reason, you know, a lot of people chose dog. But then, like, you realize, okay, how long do they live? Like, it's albatross. Albatross? I don't know what that is. Albacross. Albatross. Go ahead. Look, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. What's an Albatross. It's like the bird, but it's really big and awesome. Al, but that's okay. That, but that's not even the main thing. Cross, tross, 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 tross. And they had to like hunt each other in the forest to get more like days. <laughs> it was super weird. Mm. Yeah. So the movie, oh. the concept was great. The concept was great. I just thought, you know, let's have a fun movie night. I didn't realize it was gonna be that crazy because I've never seen the movie. So how was I supposed to know it was gonna be crazy? That was my main point. I was trying to convey that to you. I said, look. I didn't watch the movie. I have no idea. It said romance. It said comedy. Let's pick it. You've watched every romance comedy. So how was I supposed to pick something you didn't watch? You watched literally every single one. Glenn Powell. I haven't Sydney seen that Sweeney. one. She doesn't I like Sw- Sydney Sweeney. Whoa. The misogyny is telling. No, I like, I don't. You don't like to see a girl get her titties on. No, I don't think she's a good actress. That's just my opinion. Oop. <laughs> Whoa! Wait, but I can't. I can't say much because I'm a terrible actress as well. But you're not so. trying to be one, so it's different. I, I don't know. I saw clips. Like I really wanted to give that movie a chance. I w- I would still watch it, but the clips that I saw from it, she was like, "Is that the point? Like it's really bad acting mm. on both parts." Oh my god! Her. What did it's I really see bad. today? Twilight. Oh, that's. Bad. I saw a Twilight clip today. Did you see it? 
I saw it too. The one where he imprints on her. Yes. That clip, I saw that too. You Dude, I didn't really. That. I didn't realize it was that bad. You have to be in the mind space for it. It's for not Twilight. You have to mentally. You're not regressing hard enough. You have to be there. 2010. You. No, I loved it. I ate that shit up. I. Lo- I had an obsession with like werewolves. I wanted to be one. Did you I get imprinted? To, I wished. I w- <laughs> like. <laughs> Would you wish to get imprint imprinted by me? Hey. Hey. Okay. Adds <laughs> werewolf. Costume to cart <laughs> for tonight. Come on, right? Yeah, that's funny, bro. Okay. okay. Adds werewolf costume to Amazon cart. Uh, but it's good. You know, I think I think Sydney Sweeney has a couple. She's a couple great actresses, if you know what I mean, bro. Yeah, she's a double D actress. <laughs> D list. She's a double D list celebrity. <laughs> I think she's good uh, in Euphoria. I thought that's all I've seen her in was she was very awesome. Yeah, yeah she Euphoria. was not bad in that. Yeah. Um, What's wait? You know what she? What that new one that's coming out of the horror that looks fun. So look, she's doing everything she can, <laughs> and I think she's she's doing a great job. Like she's doing a great job. And I'm sh- and she's gonna be really sad if you guys say she didn't. Do yeah. A great so let's job. be nice. Seriously. Okay. Sorry, Sydney. <coughs> and is that her real name? Let's find out. Mm. You always you all were thinking about mixing your names up. If you could have a different name now, what would it be? Because I know. Martin, you're not so fond. If of I Martin. could switch your name, Mandy, mm, <laughs> Sandy, maybe. <laughs> Who the fuck is Sandy? Just to keep. Who the fuck is Sandy? I didn't mean like that. I mean just to kind of, whoa, keep it the same, but same, same, but diff. Mm-hmm. Sandy, Mandy. Look, you, with your attitude, I don't like it because you did something bad a couple of days ago. What'd you do? What did tell, I do? Tell oh, the podcast. This something has nothing to do with what oh, we're talking that's about. that's a real name. No, because we need to get into it because something exciting <laughs> happened to Mandy and exciting and in a negative exciting. way. Exciting. It was not exciting for me. Mandy got her car towed. That's the word. That's my nightmare. Every t- I just expect that. If I park my car anywhere, I just okay. assume I come out and okay. it's gone. Okay. Let me explain my side of the oh, story. Riveting, riveting, guys. Come on, seriously. <laughs> I was seriously. parked on a street where it had the street parking sign, and it shows the days and the hours, and I went to pay on the app, and it said payment not available at this time. It didn't say parking not available. It said payment, and this has happened with this app before because usually bet- like before the times, it's free parking. Or so I thought because there was four other cars. I wasn't the only one, so I parked, and literally like when I ended up picking up the car from the tow place, they told me it was like, around like 30 minutes after I had parked. So they just came so quick and towed, I guess, all four of the cars that were there. And we were in that area, like probably a week before on a Sunday. And we all agreed on the sign that said, and 1 p.m. and later is when you pay. But for some reason, this wasn't the case. I went on like a Wednesday (coughs) and my car got towed. And I didn't realize because I was going to my car at like nine. And then I was calling Martin to come meet me to get my car because I was like I can't drive this home and he wasn't available to drive me at the time so I had to drive myself there and he was going to pick it up and drive us back Look. and I was like where is my car she said I was running dude, around the street my car? I yeah. literally said no where's my car were you asking randoms have you seen a, a <laughs> I almost said your car ha- have you seen a Corolla a Corolla why are you exposing my car people are going to follow follow me around the city white now. Corolla if you see a white Corolla <laughs> <anywhere>, <laughs> like the most common <laughs> car just ever just blare your horn behind it no please. I was like yeah. I was Martin like was really, I was really ready to just like come get the car and then you're like yeah the car's gone and I'm like what Wait, I thought what someone gone? stole it yeah and I was like oh my god you better hope no one stole it um and yeah I and wished. I had to At freaking that point, I, I had to call it. an Uber to come to there and then drive to the freaking Forest toe oh, uh, yeah. pound they took impound. it out of the city, like 30 minutes out of the city. Oh, man. I was I was livid because I just knew it was a lot of money. Because towing, don't ever get your cars towed, guys. Don't, don't, not even for fun, for a joke. Don't do it. One time that happened to my family and the car disappeared. And then we found it one week later on the side of the highway in the next town, burnt to a crisp. Uh, Are you serious? Yeah. Who, d- who did and that? And it took so long because it was so burnt that they couldn't see the VIN. And it finally came back to us. How did that even happen? What did you do with the pieces? Just went out. It was actually like, I remember my dad was just like laughing when he found out. He's like, what the hell? Like what? And I don't even think it had insurance or anything. So someone just hot rodded it, took it to the next town over. I think the hot rod malfunctioned, set on fire, got on foot, deployed his glider, got out of there. Whoa. It was so a Fortnite. Pe- it was a Fortnite car. Yeah. Like like it people ju- it's car. like, it's like, it, yeah, kind of like GTA too. It's like where you just drive it, crash it a couple of times. It just blows up. More for, more like Fortnite though than GTA though. Okay. Because mine was better. 
Because Fortnite. What was the car? SUV. Nice, bro. <laughs> um, so that's okay, but it I, happens. Look, I I wasn't. You can't talk too much because you don't even drive really. So you're out of this debate. It's really me and Mandy who mm-hmm. can really participate. Martin's a passenger princess. Unfortunately. Like, yeah, like, and you're saying that like it's a bad thing. A I bad like thing. to I like to put my feet on the dashboard. Be and on you my think phone. I don't want to do that sometimes. No, I know. I know it's a it's a it's a really sought after position to be in. Yeah. Is the is the passenger princess? But sorry. I chose it and, I, and you can't have two passenger princesses. Otherwise, who's driving the car? <laughs> For some reason, I remember, I think once like we were driving somewhere. I don't know why I remember this, but I think Mandy was even in shotgun and you were just in the back and I was driving something like you were like, you just needed the leg room even more. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's like if I don't get shotgun, if there's more than one, if there's more than two people in the car, I'll take the back. Actually, shotgun's the worst place because... Three people, you, you get the whole back. You get the whole back. I can lay down, put headphones in, iPad, and I'm good. You are an <laughs> iPad kid. <laughs> well, look, I'm not here to tell you guys how to do your relationship, but what I will say is I wouldn't take it personally, Mandy. That's, I mean, personally, I wouldn't take yeah, it. Yeah, isn't it, like, isn't it awesome to have, you know, drive me around, I get to play my music on Aux, like, it's fun. I make the car rides fun. I'm the best person you could ever have a road trip with. Come on, guys. Seriously, you wouldn't want to be stuck in a car with me and driving 30 hours to Miami from Ottawa? Come on. I can't believe you guys did that. Yeah. There's I'm no way. What, the cost analysis does not work. Well, then. no. No, with you, it was... No, I've done that with my family. But with you, we did. We went from Miami back home. So, yeah, that was like 24 hours, me and mm-hmm. Mandy. And we watched all the Harry Potter movies. Yeah, we did. I, one of you did and one of you drove. What do you no, mean? no, no. Actually, Mandy's dad drove us. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yep. No, it's never worth it. Uh, it's like, what is it, like $400 ticket? Like well, it's because he had a rental car and yeah, he, had he had to, to bring, bring it back, back to wherever he got it from in Canada. Mm. And he goes for so long. And that's yeah. why he does it. He doesn't just do it for a week. He's like months, mm. I guess. Like when he Dude, we it. should all do a road trip. Would you want to? Come on. No, I, genuinely, that's like the worst ever. Why? Road trips are... Anyone s- who suggests a road trip isn't the one driving. Anyone who has to drive will never say, I want to go on a road trip. Would you drive? I could drive. I'll pay for the gas. I'll do everything if I don't drive. Okay, I'll drive. It's just never worth it. It's so exhausting. When I was yeah. a child, I was the one who would just uh, just throw up. I was the car throw up guy. Uh. You can count on me on that one. Um, I remember my parents didn't have th- like the time or money to take me to like I was in this club soccer team, so I can go to the town over. So I just always go with the coach, and every time I just throw up in his mm-hmm. car and just be like. Why would he keep offering to take you? Very nice guy. Super nice. Malaysian. Malaysian get people are so nice. But see, every time. And I'll never forget once he caught it in time and pulled over on the highway. And I'm just there just throwing up. And then, like, the opponent team, I swear, like, drove by. And they're like, nah, nah, boo-boo, <laughs> throw up. And I was like, so okay, seriously? <laughs> yeah, they caught you at your at your worst. Yeah. I don't know. I think a road trip could be fun, all of us. And, and who's to say in the future that it won't happen? Come on. Me. Really? You guys are writing it off that early? Actually, no. BC would be beautiful. I want to I wanna, I wanna drive right? around in BC. Come on. Seriously. Camper van, me, you, Mandy, if she wants to come. It's a month until uh, we go out to the island of Curacao, all of us together. I oh, know. Yeah, our first ever vacation. Yeah. Are you guys excited? This is my first, I think, ever vacation, pe- point blank, period. Yeah, like it's going to be beach. freaking awesome, dude. Yeah. I'm going to be getting so much tanner than probably both of you guys because I tan really easily. <laughs> Oh, okay. I'm uh, sure. I cannot imagine a tan Martin. That's gross. What were we I remember about? when I lobster, first met Lobster, the Martin. lobster. The <laughs> lobster, bro. <laughs> they did not work out. The love did not work out. When I first met Martin, he would love to say, yeah, just wait till I go to Croatia. I get so <laughs> tan. And I'm like, okay. I got this like spicy white boy. Like we go to Croatia. This guy, it has not changed the whole trip. He burns. His back is red constantly. He has like the red nose no. with the white sunscreen. He's making me apply the 60 SPF every 20 minutes. You lied to me. But here we are. Well, that's because you put the SCFs on him. You can, I you freaking know. skin fish. He's burn. He's going to get skin cancer if I don't put that on. I still don't know if you tan or not with that stuff. You do tan. I put it on. And I get Does it decrease? Tan. Uh, no, you tan with it. You just tan safely. Because mm-hmm. hmm. like you can burn and then it'll turn into a pretty decent tan, but you've also just gotten like a billion cancer cells inside you. It's probably faster without it. I think that's yeah, how it that's works. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah. yeah. No, I get Those people who put dark. tanning oil on are crazy. 
What does that oh, mean? Oh yeah, I the put freaking like five, oil that put, that increases the yeah, amount of sun put, that you get. They have like five SPF in it, um, and it's like actual oil that you put all over, and it makes you like glowy. I want to do that. You're scary, Mandy, because you used to tan, and I like. Yeah, I used to do scary. bed tanning. Oh, it was so. I didn't. I don't know how I thought that was a good look, especially with like the goggles, because like I tried to do without, and it actually hurt my eyes. And I would have like these rings of white. I would look like a raccoon, like with just like little like. And you saw the little thing on my nose too. It was so bad. Yeah, it looked don't terrible. Don't do that again. I don't like your tanning area. It was so scary. You didn't know me. I I got the the he was watching tail he was end of it. No, I stopped like no, a long time ago. No, there was a couple sessions you had left because you had <laughs> some <playing>. membership. <laughs> membership. Stop letter, lying. A few credits <laughs> left. No, I was actually paid for my monthly uh, tan membership, and I would put money onto my bank. That's what they would call it. <laughs> And it was so expensive. It got really expensive. I don't know. I don't even want to know what's at now. My bank told my bank. Sorry, my my gym told me that they got tanning beds, and they just broke it down to me. And I like added tanning oil and the goggles to cart like on Amazon. And I was like, "What the fuck am I doing?" <laughs> I know it's like because it was mid winter, and I just like in the mirror like I changed like I'm two yeah. different people. I'm like, wow, I look like. An age regressor, bro. I regress as a <laughs> Martin, bro. I'm a Martin regressor. Like I'm a pale regressor. I get so dark though that um, it's awesome. I'm excited. Curacao's. We're gonna come back. We're gonna look so good. We're all gonna be super tan, sexy, tan, fit, and ready. Turn it up because it's gonna get heavy. heavy. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Clever. Who said that? DJ Polity. No. Who was it? <laughs> Katy Perry. Oh, Snoop I thought Dogg, that's actually. You said it. The Jersey Shore. Jersey You're thinking Shore. Jersey Shore. <laughs> Gym tan laundry. That's what we're gonna be doing the whole trip. All right, I I'm tan. Your gym, your laundry. I'm. What is that? I don't get it. You, you didn't watch Jersey Shore? No. Oh man. Come on, you haven't. Dude, seen you anything. haven't seen anything. Everything we've asked, you're like, no, no, no. <laughs> How do you think I know so much about computers? I spend all my time learning little f- fun facts. You guys, you made think fun that's of me. cool? You made fun of me about my gizmos and gadgets. That's what I spend my time with. You're, you're saying this as if we're going to congratulate you, bro. No, I'm using it. Congrats, bro. You didn't go outside and you smell like shit. Like, <laughs> <what>? <laughs> All right, let's... Well, you can't say that because I told you I didn't brush my teeth this morning, so... Uh, but I use your well, mouthwash. I didn't, yeah, and, and I let you use my mouthwash because we, I'm right now I'm, I'm, I'm in a mood to you. help you. It's, yeah. But it's for you. You're not helping me. You're helping yourself. I'm helping you to help me. I, I raw dog no brush. It, this is not a normal thing. I want to say that. I was very busy and I had my Invisalign and, uh, you know, but then I had some salmon with, with, with pesto. No. Why are you so excited? That's, that's what, what I had today. He thought you guys were the same. I had herb. We were all on factor, bro. It doesn't even matter. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're making salmon <laughs> freaking losers. Um, yeah, that's what I spend my time. I think it's fine. I mean, I, I, I plan to know about everything by the time I'm older. Like I just want, to know it all. I hate an adult who don't know shit. Like, yeah. how do you not know? That's why we're so frustrated. We're not, it's not because we don't, like, we're hating on you. It's like, we're trying to get you up to speed. It's like a, it's like a, let's On help what? You. Jersey show? Jersey show? What's it called? <laughs> sure. Jersey sure. Sure. You need, dude, that's like a staple part of, like, the world. I'm going to get my bread up, boy. I'm going to focus on me. Yeah, but don't take so much offense to what Martin says. Like, I know I'm hating on you a bit too, but Martin gets mad at me when I don't know certain like actors. You and need to know stuff and, though. Like, My he's brain. into that pop culture. Like, that's <laughs> his brain and all that shit. Like, he was. He, I don't know. Some of us work. Some of us. I have just. Other I just to yeah, hate bro. it when no one gets my jokes, Catch and I want people drift. to like be on the same wavelength as me. That's why I like you so much because you were on the same wavelength. But if you don't know Jersey Shore, dude, I'm gonna have to cut you off. That's one wavelength gone. That's a that's a wave that was just missed. Crash. So you don't know who Snooky is? <laughs> no, I don't know who Snooky is. That's a wow. Even if you don't watch Jersey Shore, is it Shore, a guy or a girl? <gasps> is Snooky a guy or a girl? I'm sure. He's freaking genderless. She's genderless. Make it make sense. <laughs> 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 she's an enigma. She That's what like, she is. <laughs> she's like. 2000s in like a little like ball that's what Meatball. she is yeah oh that's fun i'd open i'd meet her i'd talk to her that's she sounds like a good time she has a good time that's what they say we're just what do we say we're a good time that's what yeah, they said in the show see see i that then, then see how quick i am to catch up come on mm-hmm. dude you always try to put people on but you don't let people put you on you know what's funny is i actually don't i don't try to be put on but you are so aware of being put on you're like huh <gasps> You're not going to make me watch something that you feel like everything's a put on. So, you, so you're, you're wearing, 
rose colored tinted glasses, but instead of rose, it's put them on glasses. Put me on glasses. And you're wearing piss stained glasses. Listen, I like to be put on, but I've, no, I can already don't. tell if you something is like, no, I can. It's when you start explaining things to me as like, as if I've never heard of this before. I don't even register people putting me on. I register conversations about media. Oh, you're just robotic with it. That's what it is. I don't assume people's trying to want to claim a piece of me by putting me onto something. I don't assume I, I don't associate with people like that. And if you or it just takes me, forever for you to put me on. It takes like 30 minutes for you to show me something. It's like, God damn. Show well, me it in a minute. <laughs> Give me a summary. Quick notes. Okay, well, I'll just never show you something again. You're always like, Arcane, dude. You have to watch Arcane. And then you... And well, then commenters you, will know. And then I watch an episode, and you're like, dude, we have to watch at least two or three more. <laughs> I'm like, hell no. Well, I'm confused, because that's supposed to be something... No, you show one episode, and you're like, okay, do you like it? And I say, yeah, it's decent. I'll probably watch it in my own time. Let me throw on three more. You didn't say that. I wish you'd say something so emotionally intelligent. Oh, I like it. I may watch it in my own time. Mandy, would Martin ever say something like that? No. He would say, fuck you. Never tell me anything again. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm the boss. And, yeah. and then I'm Martin like, loves to put people on, but he can't be put he on can't things. Put people That's on. what I just said about him. No. She's yeah. not even paying attention. <laughs> yes, I am paying attention. I think you. Th that's why I'm just listening to your <sighs> conversation because it makes me laugh because you love to say someone does something when you're just speaking about yourself. You're, you're getting like, double teamed here, DP. Bro. What's going on? I thought you guys were supposed <laughs> to be bickering and, you, and now I'm being attacked. Well... This guys, or you love to claim that you put someone onto something when I actually put you onto that first, and I'm like, girl, I've been listening to this. You're like, no, I showed True, you. True, I've this. done that a couple times. But that's you because Tate McRae, you always, you're just, I'm Tate. No, McRae. Tate McRae, no, no, she's my hidden gem. <laughs> she's not hidden no more, man. She was she's hidden a long time ago. She's been on the radio for a very Stop, long. Stop, Mandy, because you know, sh no, because she followed me way earlier on, and I didn't know who she was, and then I checked out her music. And I was like, oh my god, this is really good, and then I listened to it. And then I tried putting you onto her, but you were like, nah, it's all about Olivia Rodrigo right now. And then we had a huge fight, and I said, dude, Tate McRae is so good, too. Like, come on, give her a chance. Please so just give her a chance. you're taking Tate over, over Don't all Don't even say I'm that. I'm the reason why Tate McRae is famous. But you're taking Tate over I'm the reason over, why she's famous. Over Oliver. Who the fuck? Who is Oliver? What's her name? Olivia. Olivia yeah. Rodrigo. Don't you're disrespect Tate, her like that. You're taking Tate over Olivia? That's crazy. You want to put that out? Put that out right now. No, I can't. he can't say that. will... Support Tate McRae through anything. If okay, they, this is a versus. When thing. they're at the top, when it's Olivia and Tate, and those are the only people left in the world, I'm going to be on Tate's side. Wow. That's and crazy. And that's in this podcast. You know why? She's Canadian. You're Canadians not. support Canadians through and freaking through. I supported Justin Bieber through all everything that's ever happened with him. I supported him through. Who else is Canadian? Michael Sarah. Come on. Is he? Yes. These Look. are people that are that we need to support and respect. And you're living well, in Canada. I just want myself. That's what you're here for? That's what you're here for. And I'm not, here for that. Mm -hmm. It's a bad idea, right? It's a bad idea to support Olivia Rodrigo. <laughs> Dude. Just kidding. But we're going to her show, right? Yes, potentially. So, and you're going to Tate's show? No, you're not. Awkward. Awkward silence. Comment awkward silence if it's happening right now. Well, maybe she could extend an invite. Tate McRae, if you're watching this, first of all, great job. You've come a long way in such a short amount of time, and it's great to see representation for us from the north. But also, we'd like a piece of the pie. Invite yeah, could you invite show. us to your show? And we and trust me, we'd cheer louder than most of your fans who aren't actually fans. They probably only know you from Greedy, and I know you from I Snap My Elastic every time. What? Oh, dang, I forgot the lyrics. <laughs> Not I a good fan. look. Not a, yeah, go ahead and we finish it, man. You got it or no? No. It sounded like you were on a roll there. No, no she's an Olivia fan through and through. Yeah. But they're friends. Let's not divide them apart. Seriously, this is what we women, they would always do this to the women at the yeah, top. Yeah, women yeah. love to. Why do you have to pick one? Like, why can't it just be. Yeah, like why can't it women. be both? Dude, this is us just being so misogynistic. We're trying to get it out of us. Can't. It's hard. It's like that. It's like that habit that's so hard to kick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a weak clean of misogyny. <laughs> um, well, it's embedded in us. It's, we don't even know it. You know, man, and systemic misogyny. Mm, is it? Could it be systemic? I just thought that sounded great. Like I thought that sounded like you just you just wrapped staring, it up into you're one staring word. Staring into the distance, like systemic, systemic, systemic misogyny. Ugh, lymphatic misogyny. Damn it, <laughs> lymphatic semonogy. Um, 
Well, that's great. I've zoned out like five times during this. When Sorry. You start Sometimes I forget that you're here and that I we're just, tell. okay, yeah. Well, Mandy, if you want to chime in, I mean, you know, Olivia Rodrigo, you like her. What else <laughs> What else do you it's like? too late, Maybe. man. It's, you don't, yeah, you don't you want to pity and bite. I know. You have right. to command. I always tell you, you need to command. Well, Martin I'm more. sitting here and I all I see is Martin's big head. Um, I can't even see Hamza. Yeah, I know, I've understand. been like staring at Hamza. I don't know if you, the camera's catching this, but Hamza's underwear box. I don't know what those are. I Under what are you doing? This what is misogyny, bro. What are you doing? What are the, those? Are boxers? They're so long. They go down. You're to in the his presence knees, of a woman. Like Cover long up. Johns. I'm gonna show and them here. There is a lion on them, and there's lightning and galaxy. I don't even know. I've been staring at them the whole time. What are you doing, dude? This is crazy. What are you doing, dude? Diamonds in the eye. Show the eyeball right now. Eyeball. Because the eye of the tiger's right here. I've been staring at these pants, and that's all I can see this whole podcast. Well, it's not my fault. I wanted to wear you, what you got me for my birthday. Woo! Um, that's so right. Happy. That's right. Yes, you got me a little robot, but I got you a freaking outfit from straight from Lululemon. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, it's not my fault. I had to wear these underwear because I did get my balls a skin fade this morning, and I needed something which its material would complement that. Mm-hmm. Um. Skin fade, it's it's just... It's scary because, like, you know, first couple of days, it's great. It's all fun and games until a couple of hairs start growing back. And, I, yeah, and I did it because I might be getting some action tomorrow. Okay. Seriously? Let's, from let's who? Let's wrap this up. Come on. Um, at Comic-Con. Go to oh, Comic-Con. Oh, <laughs> you shaved your balls for Comic-Con. <laughs> Um, well, you I'm know what? With Martin, <laughs> that's low key. With Martin's I costume, you should do that too because there's a little zipper in that air, lower oh, region. Oh yeah, you're right. And I don't know why. Wait, don't say, don't spoil the costume. I'm not. I'm just saying there's a zipper in the lower. We're region. We're dressing up. We're dressing up as 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 something. You guys will have to find out. But we're going to Comic Con. It's gonna be a great time. Um, don't say much, but it's yeah, don't say good. much. But you guys fun. are gonna be pleasantly surprised at what's gonna come out of it. A um, new experience. We're going to find ourselves. This isn't my first con. My last one, I went to f- uh, the furry con here in Toronto. It was actually a really good time. But I had so much Was trouble. it actually called the furry con? I don't remember furry convention. but it was Therian all- con? Therian that is for sense. the horses. No, Therian. I thought that's when you pretend you're an animal. Four-legged. Yeah, four-legged. Yeah. What anything. is it called? Furry con. No, there's no way it's called the furry con. I think that's like furry their con. slur, right? Oh, it was so called... So why are we saying it then? It was called the Fernal Equinox. Oh, God. Damn. Have you, do you know what hobby horsing is? Is that, I'm assuming, <laughs> when they b- Did gallop? you used to do that? No, I did not used to do that. You were a horse girl, so I don't know yeah, what you're trying to speak up like about horses. I like the real ones, so that's different. Well, um, for advice, guys, we're going to try something new next week. If you want to try, you could send in confessions. This is just going to be a more straightforward way of us not to mince words here. If you have something deep down, dark, you've been hiding, kind of an am I the asshole kind of thing, whatever you want, just confess to us like you're your pr- the priest on the other side of the door. Mm-hmm. We'll read your confession to everyone, and hopefully that will give you that sweet release of, mm-hmm. you know, releasing some of that shame. And of course, we're licensed therapists, and we'll help you with any issues that you have. So, why don't we do a little confession of our <laughs> own? Yeah, um, should we hit Martin, us? Martin, do you have anything to confess? Do I have anything to confess? Let me think. I have so many things I want to confess. Like what? Um, hmm. Well, let's start with the big one. Conf- no, that's too easy. No, I w- okay. Do you does does anything come to mind for you guys? I got to think about mine. Um. Well, when I was a young man, I would um when my f- my neighbor when he him and his family would be out of town, they would leave the balcony open. So I would go inside their home and I would steal all of my friend's toys. And then when he would come and hang out with me, I'd show him my new toys I got. And he would be like so excited because he'd be like, wait, what? I have the same ones. Let me mm-hmm. go get them. And then he'd be like, ah, oh, I can't find them right now. I wish I had them though to, <laughs> to play with you. And I'd be like, man. So that's one of mine that kind of weighs deeply on me. Eric Jang was his name. His Korean name was Mimbo Ma. He moved to Virginia and he's now part of the alt-right. Dude, you, you didn't have to do that at the you end. Just exposed you just him. confessed for him. I just part just confessed him. for him. <laughs> well, I think he joined the military and he switched up. But it's funny because even at such a young age, I, my gaydar was flying. I'm like, okay, mm-hmm. this kid, he's going to grow up and he's going to like Jersey Shore or whatever y'all like. But I think him moving to Virginia sealed the deal. And it buried it like a piece of evidence that will never be found again. Mm, what's yours? Do you have one? Um, something to confess. Well, 
I feel like I've already confessed this to you, but I'll confess it again, I guess. Sometimes <laughs> when I give you something to eat and I tell you there's no dairy in it, I actually put dairy in it. Why would you do that? Because oh. I know you're lying. You're not lactose intolerant. And you're fine with it. Oh, you. Oh. <laughs> so you think I'm lying about my lactose intolerance. Where was the test, babe? You never went You never went to the doctor. You just like to self-diagnose. You can, you can self-diagnose lactose intolerance. Well, because why were you on the toilet after I gave you that coffee? It takes some time sometimes. You have to like... You can't pick and choose when you're lactose intolerant. Anyway, your confession, go. My confession, guys. Are you going to look at me differently when I say this? Maybe. Please don't. Seriously. Okay, when I was 12 years old, I smoked a cigarette. (laughs) I thought you were 10. I was 10. Why are you still lying? This supposed to be confession. You have to be honest. Be d- do something actually like dirty, like something you are actually ashamed of putting out there. Because in order to build a connection with the audience, you have to give and then you can take. So give them something that they can hold over your head. If you ever, you know, get canceled or something, they, they'll add it to the thread. Okay. One time when we were, when me and my cousin were younger, this is, I didn't do this recently. This was a long time ago, but I peed on someone's. We were on their roof, and I was peeing on in their backyard, basically, while they were having dinner. <laughs> Are you what? serious? You guys said you wouldn't look at me differently. I didn't say that. But this is just antics that I got up to when I was a kid, but I've changed now. All right. <sighs> well, let's see what you guys are up to, because Martin's... This is, these Dude, seriously, I thought this was a safe space, and now everyone's going to be... If you want to know how to send advice, DM out of character pod on Instagram. Send your advice. We'll try it. But, um, yeah. Here we go. Here's the first one. Julie says, hi, I'm Julie. Well, we already know that. <laughs> I feel bad for saying this in a way, but my baby daddy slash boyfriend's parents are hard to deal with. His mom is all right, but his dad is a retired cop. I've always strongly disliked cops. All the stereotypes of the police being racist and irrational is very true and obvious with this man. I feel bad for my boyfriend. This is something that is clearly conflicting for him. As someone who's been in p- to prison for a few years, parentheses, we're both, in, we're both in recovery from heroin addiction, he also strongly dislikes all cops. He also strongly dislikes all cops. I missed the line and might even slander them more than me. I went over to his parents with him and my son in months. I, went o- I haven't went over to his parents with him and my son in months it's also just n- nice to relax and have a break because i do have an 18 year old eight hamza i do have an, guys i'm doing pretty good though an 18 month old son but also i'm nervous as fuck i'm going to eventually get into a fight with his parents or s- for saying a racial slur or something racist slash bigoted am i wrong for avoiding them i can't stand Back the blue bullshit. What do y'all do? Yeah, I struggled with reading that one. I think it's because of the sensitive matter of it. There's some words I'm not used to reading. Um. Yeah, but it's just such a simple um advice <laughs> here. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, clearly you don't like cops, and neither does your boyfriend. So, well, do you like cops? Why are you pointing to wow, me? Wow, the hesitation. Do you like cops? No, oh, I hate those pigs. <laughs> I hate those. Uh, I mean, uh, pigs. Uh, right I don't. Pigs? I don't know. I, I don't know. I'm. I you, look. I'm. We neutral. hate cops so much. It's hard to say you hate cops because, like, they do help you when. Uh, well, we're in Canada. The Canadian cops well, are different. Well, actually, it, they can you still know, be pretty bad. Okay, if you're getting pulled over, if you see a bald white man, you know you're in you're trouble. You're in trouble. Yeah, that's the cops I don't like is when, I, they're, when they're when, bald. Uh, oh, my God. Even, like, any type of cop security, like, National like, Guards or something like that, when I pulled... This is so unrelated, but I have to say this. When I went to the U.S. the other day and I was pulling up to the border and I was so nervous... Like I had literally absolutely nothing in my car, but they treated me like I had 10 pounds of Coke in the back and I was like sweating and he was like, and I pulled up and I saw him stick out his head. I'm like, oh my God, it's a bald white guy. He's going to be like, he's going to be so mean. I pull up and I start like saying like, hi, like he's like asking me how I know my friend that I'm with. He's like, what, you guys just meet today? And I was like, (laughs) no, no. And he's like, okay, I can't hear anything you're saying. And (laughs) anyway, yeah. So cops, whatever, whatever he was, I think he's some sort of cop. Yeah, I'm not a fan. Yeah, those ones are not a fan of either though. So it's like those ones in specific, no, but I met like really nice ones. So then I'm like, okay, I like those ones. So I'm kind of like neutral, but leaning towards 
I'm scared. I get nervous around like them. Yeah, they make me profiled. nervous. Yeah, that's what it sounds like. I just don't like. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> that's probably like what happened to you, Mandy. You got a profile. I don't know. I just like whenever I see them, it's always in like a negative light. So it's unfortunate. Um, bootlicker, bootlicker, got it. All right. And for you, I would say, um, you gotta, st- um, well, you gotta make sure he's not he violent. Yeah, he doesn't. Uh, the boyfriend doesn't like cops either, though, and that's so his I think dad. The so problem is he's. She feels bad for her boyfriend slash baby daddy. Yeah. Because he's in the, he's kind of like, you got to defend father. your man. You yeah. got to defend your man. Stand up for him. You have that baby together. No, it's her. She's the one that's like, really does not like Look, them. if you're old enough to have an 18 year old month son, yeah. have some jail time under your belt. Yeah. Then you're old enough to F mm. this, F this father. You don't need to know father in law. Yeah. You really don't. Um, Y'all are pretty self sufficient, it looks like. So. Look, I'm reading your bio. Sorry, I don't mean to get more personal, but this is it. A fierce bio and one that does not associate with cops. Mother, anti imperialist, anti fascist, anti capitalist, free Palestine, free Congo, free Sudan, free Yemen. I see nothing about here saying back the blue. So you should add a cab here. That'll probably be a good way to get the message out. But Julie, this is some main character stuff. I wish I had this kind of lore a little bit of, um, I wish my father was like, a villain so that I could, you know what I mean? Right. Kind of rise up a little bit and like, yeah, stray away from the plot. norm in a way. Like, do you ever see an, like a, an athlete's father, like, like, like a NBA player's dad. It's always like they the want to play evil person ever. Yeah. Cause like, wh- who are you thinking they're of? Living are you thinking about LaMelo Ball's dad? Yeah. Like for example, they're like actual villains, but then there's this crazy arc where they pass their dad. And yeah. Like yeah. 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 So it's kind of like that. So maybe hopefully, maybe her boyfriend will have that. I mean, he, he's clearly on the on the path because he's with this, with this woman who's so against them. So it's like, he doesn't, cause if he wouldn't even be with her, if he liked cops, so let him know, yeah. honestly. And if he's on the fence, then. Yeah, I don't know. What was the advice, though? Well, I don't even remember. Um, Do we like cops? Oh. No, that wasn't it. I'm just kidding. Um, My boyfriend is, is starting to ask me why I don't go over there. I know it's getting more noticeable, and I just... That I just find his father insufferable. No, yeah. I'm not sure how to say that. You I should can't just say, say it. his father's bigotry. Yeah, like, I've been with people, and I hated their parents. Yeah. Like, I wish I told my ex's mom to her face, I hate you. Mm-hmm. She was so rude. I hope she watches this. Well, anyway, you seem vocal in, in your bio and your life, so let's make it vocal there. Good luck, and please keep me updated. This sounds extremely uh, interesting. Um, next one here. Hi, Martin and Hamza. This is school related, but will hopefully be interesting to you. Hi, my name is Mia, and I am in the early years of high school. Parentheses. I was born late. I swear, and just didn't make the tennis team, which has always been a dream of mine. Anyway, I'm still grateful for the experience, but I'm now wondering what else I could do. I didn't really plan to do anything else, which is so stupid, but whatever. Is there anything you wish you two did in high school or wish you tried harder to do? If you read this, I'll sub to the Patreon with my last dollar. dollar. Well, welcome to the Patreon. <laughs> um, anyway, a super cool fun slushy from a super cool fun slushy. What's something you wish you did? I wish I was more outgoing, for sure. Just to make it more memorable. Mm -hmm. It was just a blur to me because I just... But I did try. I tried for the tennis team, as she said, and I didn't make it. So you and I have that in common. What did I... Yeah, what did I try to do in high school that I wish I did? Look, look, I think being outgoing is great and all. But part of it is also, like, not caring as much as as about that stuff. Like, like... You know, you try to make as many friends as possible in high school because you think that's the right thing to do. But it's like maybe focusing more on like the core people that really did care about you instead of like thinking that you need to be friends with everyone because after high school, it really doesn't matter. No, it, none maybe of that it matters one. after high school. Yeah. So it's like st- stop thinking too much about what other people think. I think that's a big one. I wish I focused more on that mantra. mantra. What, about, what about you, Mandy? Well, yeah. What do you let me say one more time? Is there anything you wish you two did in high school or wish you tried harder to do? Yeah. Um, I wish, I don't know. I, yeah, I wish I didn't treat high school like a fashion show, like Gossip Girl. Like I was pulling up wearing like mini <laughs> skirts and high knee boots every single day. And mm-hmm. it was crazy. Why was I dressing like that at 15? Because so you, you wanted to get that 15 year old dick. 
Oh, cut that out. In well. the sense that, oh. Um, anyway. That was g- that was on for That's a while. That's been on for a while. I know. Okay. Out if his Rudy's oh behind you. God. No, Rudy as well. Oh, oh sorry, Rue. Okay, I need to pull this up. Sorry. But if it makes you feel any better, it's kind of a hard question to ask because high school, you don't even think about it when you're out. It was also it. years yeah. ago, and like I it's just. It was a very uh, long time ago. Almost 15 years ago. Yeah, it's been a while. So I don't, yeah, I don't remember it. Um, But good luck. Hi, Hamza and Martin. I'm a 17 year old listener from Australia, and I need some advice. I've never been in a relationship and have only had one serious talking stage that lasted a year. Oh, my God. Which seriously fucked me up, but I won't get into that. Since then, I moved schools and am now realizing I should probably have at least dated someone before graduating high school. It's kind of freaking me out. I also worry because recently I've been thinking about more about dating and relationships and it's really affecting my self-esteem, like whether or not there's something wrong with me or maybe I'm not pretty enough to have s- people be attracted to me. I don't know if my problem is as serious as most of the advice you read on Out of Character, but it's not been good for my mental health. And I was wondering if you have anything to say. Love everything you guys do. There's always someone for everybody. That's mm-hmm. that's the biggest thing. And especially after high school, you're going to meet so many other people, not those crusty little guys in your gym class or whatever classes you're taking. Like... There's more than high school. I wouldn't date in high school. Mm-hmm. It's wouldn't. really it's not a waste that of serious. Time. I didn't. I didn't. I really didn't like get s- seriously dating until like 22. Like I was pretty late. Okay, <laughs> where is your girlfriend, <gasps> Tomza? How old are you, and where is your girlfriend? Uh, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Tell. Lord, you yeah, don't please know defend me. I've been passed around like a hacky sack, man. I'm. I'm Toronto. So exactly. So look, everyone struggles. You get passed around and stuff like that. People have problems too. (laughs) Um, Look, it's not that serious. I think, I think there is, yes, uh, there's someone out there for you. Look, there's how many billion people in the world? At least a million. You can trust me. There's so many people out there. You're not, there's not just one person for you. There's probably actually a lot more people out there for you. Um, Yeah. So don't stress. Don't definitely don't stress out about it because it also shows. Your time is limited. You better hurry up. You have a biological clock. Don't say that, dude. <laughs> We're supposed to be good at reading advice. <laughs> oh, shoot. Yeah, you're right. Um, I think Mandy actually said it the best, probably because she's a woman and she's been there probably. Knows better. Yeah. Mama knows best. Mother knows best. No, you said mama. Stand on mama. that. Mama. Oh, mama. Is that... What's the weirdest thing Martin has called you in the heat of the moment? Oh, someone wrote that in. <laughs> Seriously? Okay, <laughs> fine. <laughs> <laughs> um... Hi, Martin and Hamza. Not really any ad- an advice question, but have you guys ever gotten into a fight that was so bad you almost ended up not being friends anymore? If so, how is the argument resolved? Mm, I don't think we've ever been in a fight where we would stop being friends. No, I don't think so. But either. definitely definitely like bickering here and there. Yeah. Because we spend so much time together. That's kind of what you get. Yeah, you guys fight like an old married couple sometimes. Well, wh- what about your fights? What's the... Wha- <laughs> Well, oh, m- no, <laughs> like straight up, like me and Mandy have fought where I'm almost out the door. Like You're almost out the door? Well, like you're almost I'm almost out the door. Well, I'm out you the door with my, my bags, with my bags I thrown out. Yeah, yeah. Man, <laughs> I throw you out, babe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's just, it's, I look, fighting is super normal because I, I couldn't okay, don't imagine. don't put that out there. Okay. What? Fighting to the point where you're like being mean to each other and screaming at each other, that is not normal. But having like disagreements and arguments time to time it's how you make up that matters like he's here right now obviously i let him back in the house after a couple hours so we're fine yeah so i made it seriously yeah. it's 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 something that sh- yeah i don't know i mean she wasn't really asking for advice it was kind of like a question so i don't know why we're d- diving this deep into it but yes we fought everyone fights mm-hmm. that's what i always worry about when i get in a relationship it's that i never fight and it never feels true never feels like anyone cares enough it's it takes time to to yeah it takes deep a, a, a large amount of time to get to that point yeah hello hamza and others i come to you with a dilemma i think you guys might have some expertise on oh i have been single for almost 21 years almost 21 years either you're 40 like 40 yeah i was just thinking about that like you a dated when you were like two months old what do you mean almost 21 years oh they're about to turn 21 mm-hmm 
that was not hard. I don't know why I got so. I don't have a bunch of friends, especially ones to hang out with IRL, and I honestly don't care about making more. I'm socially content and find joy in talking to myself or going out alone. I don't smoke, party, drink, so it's hard to connect with other guys through dating apps when all they want to do is uh, want <laughs> so when all they want is a bop or someone to smoke with. I just play Fortnite, Plat 2 by the way, and Roblox. Hey, Hamza, this sounds like a good girl for you. Um, I don't want a bop. Is that did she say she's a bop? No. They want her to be a bop, but she's resisting. I want a bop. Just be a bop already. How do I go about finding someone to go on a date with, preferably taller than me, with dark, curly hair, so like (laughs) Hamza? But I'm very tired of never experiencing any romance, so I'd like to change that. For context, I'm a community call I'm in I'm in community college and my workplace is a spa. So it's all women and older men. Hey, older men. For even further context, I just went want to emotionally and romantically connect with a man who doesn't just have simpleton thoughts and aspirations within their lives. Well, first of all, do you though? Do you really want to connect with someone? That's my that's how what I tell myself. When I try it, I'm like, maybe maybe plat plat one is is where we're at. Maybe mm-hmm. that's where the emotions come into play. But um, I just just get something in your face ASAP, and you'll be like, "Wow, I really thought this was all that in a bag of chips." Okay, I could, I could. This is not the most serious thing in the world. And then you start moving more confidently, and then things and actually. Then it actually co- yes, yeah. that's actually a good way to put it. You get very sporadic, high stakes that are made up. There's no stakes, but you are like, "Freak, I need to get this." Mm-hmm. Then you get out there and freak it, and then you're like, "Whoa." That was, was so mid. Yeah, it was not that serious. Let me just pull back. Now you're walking with a little more confidence because you you've been you've been somewhere. What's Geico's? Pep in your step. No, you got to know s- somewhere to be something. You got to know someone. Allstate or something. They have a for saying. It would have been really good if I knew it right now. Would have been good if you guys could have helped me on that. But yeah, Mandy, Martin, do you have anything to say? Don't date. That's yeah. That's not far from what I said. Well, I said it simpler because I got lost with what you were saying. Don't date what just to date. <laughs> you can you can go out there. You can find something quick. You can get yeah, that experience out there. Kind of break the ice. For that. Yeah, but break the ice, kind of thing. It's not. It's never that serious. Um, you don't yes. drink. I was gonna say go to a bar and meet some people. Nah, but and it's you don't even have to do that though. Now they have yeah, they have apps for everything. You can find exactly what you're looking or for. Or travel. You know how many people you meet oh, when you travel. Like you find like you want oh, someone that's more open minded. Travel. Yeah, traveling is a good way to yeah, meet guys. Yeah, traveling. Yeah. Well, Mandy really wants Without to travel. Me? That's what? very suspicious. Mm-hmm. Anyway, thanks for listening, everyone. Bye. Um, whoa. You want to end it that fast? Oh. Seriously? You're yeah. not even going to give them a proper goodbye? Uh, your thanks monthly appearance? Thanks for watching and listening. Goodbye. And rate it five stars on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. And Hold give up it a, a five. thumbs up. And give it a thumbs up and comment something.